algebraic long division. Why do you need it? Well, you need it for when you want to solve a cubic equation and you also need it for when you're doing those root and factor style questions, which are very popular in the Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 1, which you've probably seen already. So just a few tips for you on this before we even start. Make sure that you have all the parts of the equation. So we'll see an example later on where not every type of x is in the actual equation you're presented with. So make sure that you include those. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, so you've got four steps to this process. You divide, multiply, change the sign and add. And you do that over and over and over again until you have ran out of things to divide into. So this is the first example here. And you can see that I'm taking the x and I'm dividing it into 4x cubed. I get an answer 4x squared. When I put that up on the top line, that's what I multiply with. So 4 4x squared is going to multiply by the x and by the minus 3. And you can see me write that in. And then I change the signs of the new line I've written down, the lowest line on the, the calculation, and I, and I add them. And I repeat that process over and over again. The tricky thing about algebraic long division is it's actually quite difficult to learn it from just looking at a worked out solution. You really need to be doing this calculation with me here and also doing it as many times you need to to get the process right. Practice does make perfect and I know that's a really cliche, cliche thing to say but it is 100% true in this case. So promise me that you will pause and rewind this as much as you need to so you can absolutely ace this. So as you can see, I'm working through this one here and I see an x cubed minus 8. I'm missing the x squared bit and the x part. So I write them in as 0x squared plus 0x. Sometimes this can cause a bit of you know, confusion and a bit of an error, but make sure that you just work it through as normal. Now it's your turn. I want you to pause this video right now and I want you to try this question. Okay, are you ready to go? So I'm going to go through the solution here. So let's see how you did. So again, I have an X missing there. So I'm going to put in plus zero X in that calculation. I hope that one didn't catch you out. And I'm going to go through the process again. So I'm dividing, multiplying, changing the signs and adding. And I go through that step three full times. And of course, if something is a factor, it will always divide in evenly. You will never have a remainder. So well done on doing that. Keep going over these questions as much as you need to. Remember to subscribe to my channel because there's so much more to come. Thank you for watching. Bye.